Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Mario, AKA M1 with the World Media Channel. Coming to you with a different type of video in terms of, um, you know, what I'm covering. I'm just gonna go over some challenges and some solutions that I've came up with to just make my 4K editing easier and just managing the content and organizing it as well. I do edit content outside of YouTube in terms of like music videos, landscape photography, and other personal content. So managing all of that footage and storage into different folders, it becomes a task in terms of just keeping all that storage on my computer 4k footage specifically it does take up a little bit more space than regular footage they can be like one gigabyte for one video in regards to 4k editing I use 4k editing for music videos mainly so when I do edit on Final Cut Pro my Final Cut library ends up taking up a lot of space and that's been one of my main issues when I do edit 4k footage importing it to my library and then editing it on my computer and stuff like that it just results in a lot of footage being stored into the library as well as my computer so then it starts running slow it ends up making my computer run slow other programs are running slow if I'm rendering and stuff like that so if you ever had a MacBook that ran up on storage you understand what the problems come with um, Final Cut creates its own library that houses the storage um, which makes the libraries upwards of a hundred gigabytes and stuff like that so one library could possibly take up your whole memory space in your computer another thing would be the transfer speeds for when i'm organizing my 4k files so previously i did have a western digital easy store hard drive that i use there's a spinning disk inside of the actual hard drive so this one actually crashed on me multiple times and i've actually lost um videos content um previous work that i've done in the past i have lost that due to the failure of this hard drive but i went ahead and purchased a sandus ssd extreme portable pro that has actually been helping me manage my files a little bit better and also helping with my final cut storage in my library that's also been transferred over there so that's been helping me transferring 4k files on my western digital hard drive was actually pretty slow compared to an ssd after i created a library and everything Thing. the issue came up or the challenge I should say came up of what to do with this library after I completed it so it, it was kind of like do I put it on my hard drive or do I just delete the whole library altogether so for projects that you work on for clients and stuff like that it's actually pretty typical for clients to want to do edits after the final production so you would have to go back into the actual project edit a few things and you'd actually want that same timeline that you previously edited on if you delete that whole library or that whole project it's gonna remove that timeline and you're not gonna be able to get that same project that you produced but you'd have the files to go ahead and redo it so it comes from a productivity standpoint where organizing the files and having your previous work in folders that you can access easily is always um, something that's important by no means this is an end-all solution the SSD has been solid in terms of transfer speeds so the read and write speeds has been amazing for example you know a 70 gigabyte library or a 70 gigabyte folder of files can be transferred within a couple of minutes versus the other hard drives they, they can take a little bit longer probably upwards of 30 minutes 35 minutes and stuff like that so i definitely think that's one step in the direction of organizing so when you're moving around files you don't have to wait you can just continually move it around organize it and it doesn't have that bottleneck effect where you're just being slowed down in your work and you have to just focus on that one thing or just wait for something to render another key thing that this ssd has helped me do was actually create the, the Final Cut library on this SSD as opposed to my personal computer. So all of the storage, all of the files, everything like that is housed on the SSD versus my MacBook hard drive. So that frees up space in that aspect and that saves me a ton of space. Also for Final Cut, when you're editing files and you import the videos, they do have the option to leave the files in the place or to copy the files into Final Cut. Copying the files into Final Cut can create duplicate files. So let's say you have the videos on your computer and then you copy them into Final Cut. Final Cut creates a library with that content that is in that and then it's technically duplicate because now it's on your computer and in your final cut library whereas if you leave the files in place such as on your computer and use the library itself it's going to go ahead and leave the files 
use codecs such as proxy and optimized media to go ahead and edit with so you don't duplicate the memory that you have on your computer. So for my SSD, I do run the Final Cut library off of my SSD strictly, as well as all the video content is on there as well. So if I go ahead and need to edit a video or open up a library view content, I can go straight to my SSD, plug it into my computer, and then edit it that way. This does have a little bit of a take back in terms of you have to have your SSD connected to your computer to access your files or your timelines, but this is definitely something in the right direction. They do have different hard drives and storage solutions to back up this SSD as well because you can lose it, it can get destroyed, and I believe SSDs can still um, get corrupted, but it's less likely than a hard drive because there isn't a spinning disk in there. So, you know, that's that's literally my video. It's just a little bit of tips and tricks that may be able to help you. Lately, I've just been trying to get into more video content production, doing music videos, collaborating with different artists, and I am trying to collaborate with different videographers and cinematographers as well. So if you are looking to work, please reach out to me at World Media Co. on IG and you can reach out to me on YouTube as well. Thank you guys so much for joining in today. And one with the World Media Channel. Peace out.